Once a year, all family members of the notorious Azarjo family meet in the warehouse of the Tutti Frutti Seafood Restaurant to divide up the stolen goods according to an old family tradition. Everyone can try their luck, but only one will leave the meeting with a full suitcase. Who will prove to be the most skillful player in the hot-blooded game of gamblers skillfully challenging luck and risk? Welcome to my review of Family Inc. Hey everyone, this is Sir Thakos. Today I'm bringing you my review of Family Inc. by Piatnik, a lightweight family game with a pushy luck element. Let me first show you how to set up the game. Alright, so this is pretty much the setup of Family Inc. First, you take all the chips from the box, turn them face down and put them right in the middle of the table so that all players can reach them well. Then each player picks a color, puts one of the player pieces on the first field of the score track and the other in front of them to signal which color they play as. This is helpful in this game since this game supports up to seven players. So you don't get confused with seven colors on the score track. Then you also put the diamonds where everybody can reach them. And that's already it, you see? This is a game with a really quick setup. At the start of each round in Family Inc., if you have face-up chips in front of you, you score them and move as many spaces on the scoreboard and then remove those chips from the game. Um, the, of course, in the first round, this is not the case. Then you reveal one chip after another from the middle of the table and place them in front of you. Since this is a pushy luck game, after each new chip, you decide whether to reveal another chip or whether to end your turn. If you reveal a new chip during your turn that matches one of your face-up chips, your turn ends immediately and you lose all chips. This is the main mechanic of the pushy luck mechanic. Yet if this happens when drawing your second or third chip only, you at least collect a diamond in compensation. Should you ever collect three diamonds, you can advance 50 spaces at once on the score track. When you end your turn voluntarily, you additionally collect all face-up chips from the chips in front of other players that match the values of your chips. So, for example, let me say that I will keep drawing a few chips here, like this, and now I will decide to stop. And that was already my turn. I'm not gonna draw anymore because if I draw one more chip, I'm gonna be out. I will not get a diamond since I have more than three chips lying in front of me. Now, the opposing player will also draw chips. And let me just... So, for example, now the other player has drawn three chips. And let's say the other player says, okay, that's fine, I will stop now. Then the player will receive my chip with the five on it because the player has already five on it. So, that player will go to the other players chips and when it's my turn again now then i can score my chips but i will will not have the five the chip with the value five anymore because that one was stolen by the other player so i will score these 11 points here remove those from the game and then continue my turn as before and this is pretty much how the game plays stealing chips from another player if you have a chip with the same face of value is this game's very unique mechanic um, until it's your turn again you need to hope that the chips you collected are not stolen by another player this can lead to some truly hilarious moments since all players watch the others turn around chips hoping for them to either bust or to at least not uncover chips with the same value of chips you collected before and when a player reaches the 100 space on the score track the game ends and that player wins this is pretty much how you play Family Inc. in a nutshell. Um, a very simple and straightforward game that is very fun, to be honest. So, what do I think about the game? As usual, let's start with the positives. The game plays very quick in this incredibly simple setup, as you saw here. Very simple to teach and also play. This makes it a great family game you can really play with anyone. The push your luck mechanic is fun and made even better with the addition of being able to steal chips from all other players. Imagine having seven players stealing chips from each other each round. Chaos ensues when that happens. The catch up mechanic with the diamonds is pretty great. With it you can really mitigate bad luck when you collect three diamonds. And we never had the feeling that this mechanic was too under or overpowered. It's just perfectly right. It's also great that the game supports up to seven players. So you can play this game in nearly every round. 
Also, at such a player count, the mechanic of stealing ships, as I mentioned, just gets totally out of hand, which is hilarious. So your ships are never safe in a round with seven players. Something I don't quite like is when games are too inefficient with their packaging, and Family Inc. is an offender in that regard too. So the box, so the box you saw in the very beginning, is very large and could have been at least half the size to fit everything. This just takes up more space than necessary in your shelf and also makes bringing games with you harder too. And I mean, this is a perfect game for bringing with you when you go someplace because you can play with anyone at a high player count and it's a fun game. And you always have to carry that big box around with you that is only half filled at maximum. This doesn't lessen the enjoyment of playing the game, but it's definitely avoidable. The only reason to have such a big box is if the game is planned to have expansion in the future. I doubt this will be the case for Family Inc, but maybe it will. Then the box would be okay for its size again, I suppose. When playing this game several times for this review, we made out a minor design issue. So if you look very closely, you are sometimes able to make out the color of the chips, especially on a reflective surface. Here it's now a little bit better, yeah, I can't really see it too well, but on a reflective surface, um, you can sometimes make up the colors even if the chips are face down. That's because the color goes all the way to the edge and doesn't have like a black border or anything. That would have been something how you could have mitigated that. There are two main ways I've identified to solve this issue. Either you use a bag when you draw the chips from, or you just don't try to look at the chips too closely. I mean, this is not a competitive game. It's a family game and it's all in good fun. So um, this should be a large issue. Just put them like in a big pile in the middle and then you won't see um, the colors all too well. Just don't look close enough and that should be fine then. If there ever is a reprint for this game, I would suggest just like having like a thin black border at the edge here, then that issue is not an issue anymore at all. All in all, we really enjoyed the game. While it's not um, my most favorite push your luck game. It comes very close and it's very fun to play and really simple, which is a big plus. And the stealing mechanic is something very innovative. I've never seen something like that before in a game. And I promise you, we really had a good time and we broke out in laughter several times during the game um, when we just stole chips from each other. It's, it's a really hilarious mechanic. If all of that speaks to you, I definitely don't see a reason not to try out the game. It fits pretty much every collection you can play it with anyone be it children be it your grandmother everyone can have fun playing this game and that's a big big plus because there's little to no overhead there are almost no rules you have to memorize no charts you have to look at and that is really good all right that concludes my review of family inc if you're still watching thank you very much for sticking until the very end i highly appreciate it why don't you drop by my channel and check out more videos okay i'll see you soon take care and bye bye